Um, before you hear John tell you how the weather client works, let's understand a little bit about how the weather server works. We talked about how a server is uh, centrally located somewhere uh, located over in the internet and our weather server is located at an IP address called openweathermap.org. So this server turns out is actually running on the HTTP protocol which is basically a web server. So it's running at the standard address which is port 80. So if I were to write a client this client would have to connect to the server at port 80. So the coordinates for this are two. The first thing is an IP address and the second thing is port 80. I would talk to it, I would send a request, and I would send a request in keeping with the HTTP protocol. The HTTP pr protocol is a very simple protocol. You send get requests. The request that you send is a well-formatted string that says get and it'll have some information that says what you want to get. And the response can be in some form, in our case it'll be just a, a, a set, of, set of name value pairs that describe what the weather is right now. So let's take a look at how you would use the weather server from a browser because a browser like Firefox is basically something that talks to servers that run the HTTP protocol, which is usually at default port 80. So I'm going to open one here. I'm going to run my connection to, so I'm going to say HTTP, that's the protocol, open weather map dot org, and I'm going to send it a a string which says I'm looking for the weather for Austin and the units I want to use are metric and I hit enter. So behind the scenes my browser packaged this query I just asked it into a get message and sent it to the server and the server responded back. Among other things the server told me when, like for example, it tells me when the sunrise for this place is, when the sunset is, but it also tells me that the weather conditions are clear, the temperature is 9.39 degrees centigrade, and it tells me what the humidity is, and it might have other information, for example, the name of the city, it's just echoing back the name that I asked. So we will, in our application, parse this response and display it so that we can get an up-to-date weather information. So now you can see how John will demonstrate how our application return using the library calls to the various drivers will achieve this purpose using the launchpad rather than use a browser.